introducing NOS and F for Rocket Chat. So uh, I'm very honored to be here. We will be going through uh, what is NOS and why this NOS and F was needed, the challenges we face, and what, uh, what we will be doing after this. So we will be experiencing the uh, united uh, unified power and elevate collaboration with business and so these are my mentors barbara and samad uh, these, these are my incredible mentors and uh, we, uh, they have made sure that uh, we have at least two uh, meetings and uh, i'm grateful to have yeah this is me uh, i've been contributing around the uh, set tabs so moving on so let's uh what is no yeah, not an no sun is an of uh, uh, not taking uh, uh no, not taking uh, not taking ta task management or project management tool which are, which is used by teams. They uh, they can manage the different work space as you can see, and or they can uh, uh collaborate uh, on their uh project uh project disc, uh project uh, pro pro uh, project information. This is one of the main features uh which is used highly by, uh, to manage projects or if you have a meetings or you have a backlogs. So maybe it, it, uh, there is a project backlog that can update the status or uh, uh, if, if something has just happened and they can assign to uh, assign that uh, the, uh, the task to different end. This is uh, the board which we were keeping track of our project uh, to uh, over the over the over the past week, 12 weeks. Yeah. Also, the there is there, uh, the teams usually uh, put some uh, important information uh, related to uh, the uh, the notion page uh, which they have wrote in the comments. Why uh, why this integration was needed? So we have uh, uh, we, uh, now we know that uh, uh, the, uh, the teams collaborate for uh, in, uh, store their um, important information inside RC. Uh, inside the notion now we have a rocket, a rocket chat users and they are using notion now they usually collaborate on, uh, they have all the information uh, uh, all their information in, uh, inside inside notion and they uh, they collaborate uh, mentioning some notion pages uh, uh, for example they share notion pages and they need to do that they go to an, a notion again or maybe there is a uh, manager who is managing the team, and they need to, they they have uh, they have collaborated on uh, assigning a task, and they usually go to Notion. So now the the, the main objective of this uh, project is to get that uh, Notion power inside RC, so we don't need to switch switch to Notion or uh, to do the important uh, things which can be handled easily inside RC. So. So let's get to the story. This is uh, a manager stream story. Meet, um, meet, uh, meet, meet, meet a team. Uh, Alex is a manager, and he is managing uh, a team uh, which includes developers and designers. Uh, we have David and Emily, and they are kickstarting uh, with a new project that is GitHub PR Reminder app. And as as they discussed uh, about. Uh, uh, the milestones of this project, they decided to use a notion as their project management tool. So, uh, Alex goes to a uh, marketplace and Alex goes to a marketplace and installs the app. And he, as soon as he installs the app, uh, he gets notified about the, uh, notified that the app is successfully installed. Now, admin admin of the uh, this workspace. Uh, has already been uh, helped him to uh, set up the client ID and secret. Now Alex needs to, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, know how to uh, use this app, and he, he found out that they can use uh, he can use less notes and help to uh, uh, know of, uh, how to use this app. As any runs less notes and help, yeah, this is what are the commands. Now, uh, now. What Helix wants is that he needs to he needs to uh, unite a rocket jet workspace to an uh, uh, notion workspace. So he runs slash notion connect and uh, goes to connect connecting uh, the, uh, connecting the workspace. So 
Yeah, it is, these are several workspaces available, and you need to connect to a you know, Rocket Chat workspace. Yeah, and the teams are in motion. There are team spaces uh, as we are working on a GitHub PR reminder app. As they have started GitHub reminder app, uh, we, have, we are giving access to that app. And there are some private documents which which uh, uh, Alex doesn't need to uh, Alex doesn't need to uh, allow access. Yep, uh, it's connected to Rocket Chat. You can now close this uh, window. Yep, you can see it's connected. Now, uh, as as they have, they were working on a uh, team, they have created a uh, already created a team inside uh, our uh, team inside Rocket Chat. Oh, you can here see here. Yeah, a manager has uh, uh, said some message on getting started and given some approach how we can start. Uh, David and Emily has replied. Yep, yeah, and yep, yeah, you can see it, the team has decided to use uh, start with uh, reviewing the GitHub API documentation. So, so now manager needs to assign a task to David uh, for API uh, uh, for uh, for reviewing the API doc uh, documentation. So as, as the manager turns this, uh, he finds that, that uh, there are no uh, there is no table which was uh, to keep track of this uh, project. So it creates the table. It goes to create uh, it creates database inside the GitHub uh, via reminder docs, and he, he, he needs to name a title uh, GitHub GitHub via reminder GitHub via reminder app table, and he need to keep track. Of, uh, one of the main things is the task, and he, he needs several things that he also need to uh, get the due date. Was uh, also the, you need to set the priorities of this task. Uh, so let's get the priorities, and and the, uh, there are, there will be the units that there will be there will be two bit should be two priorities. The, uh, it should be. There should be two priorities. That is high and low, and high is uh, of red color, and And low is of orange. He also for the needs that he need assigned to the a task with uh, the person. So he, he named uh, one table as assignee. Yep, he creates this table. Now Alex knows that this uh, this task needs to be done only once when they start uh, start the project. Now he quickly creates the. Uh, he quickly creates uh, uh, assign a task uh, to uh, David. So it's it's in GitHub uh, PR reminder tab table. Uh, we can see right over here. He has already created a table. Yep, this is the table and we quickly assign this task in its to review API documentation or by tomorrow and the assignee would be uh, David and we need to set this priority as and height. Yep, uh, the, the task has been created uh, for this is uh, David is an assignee. Yep, we can see over here. Uh, the task has been created. But moving on, uh, it's a, there is another day. David has a message. The a message for the uh, and send the team meeting agenda, and also told the David to share the updates of API limitations. Uh, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. Uh, as this is the David, and let's do this. Agenda. Oh, this is the agenda that, that they will be having. 
uh, which is uh, my David, my David Ajinda. And he's also telling to share uh, some talks, uh, API limiters and talks. So let me share, uh, he shares the docs using slash motion share, and they can directly share this you know, some docs. Yep, David has shared. And now manager can you get uh do that talks uh with uh quickly. Yep, this is the API limitations uh which uh David has said they can do directly inside like this. So moving on is that uh there is a next day and they need to highlight more challenges on the notion with uh the API limitations. And David, David has shared some uh, uh, document, uh, shared some uh, more uh, highlights on the uh, update limiting, limiting. So uh, he, what he does, uh, uh, the manager needs that uh, this uh, this should be this should be uh, piece of, uh, manager. What a manager needs that uh, this uh, the solution of this should be documented. So managers create the page for uh, page for David. Uh, so uh, to page for David uh, to uh, to document uh, to document the solution. And we name this a solution created anything. It has been done and he has successfully uh, preserved this message. And he can now document in uh, David can document this uh, solution of this activity inside RC. We will go. Yeah, there is uh, 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 some and minute next and is that asked that uh, there is a uh, here I see we've done with the solution. Uh, for that committing. Yep. Uh, and uh, David replies here. Uh, he has made some comments on this. So let's uh, the elections uh slash notion comment for he seeing this comments. As he sees, uh, yep, these are they can implement request throttling on their end to you know so solve this uh, API limit uh that limiting limitations. Moving on, yeah, this is the final. Uh, yeah, the at the PR that is in, uh, successfully finished, and major manager logs out to the uh, change to the different workspace as he, he has already been, uh, he, he has already worked on this. this. Now the manager thinks that, uh, he, he needs to uh, as if the uh, workspace is of no use, he connects to that uh, workspace and disconnects as it is no, no more in use. Yeah. So now we see is, uh, is there uh, any different things available? No, so yeah, yeah, this is it. Uh, yeah, moving on. This is the feature summary. Uh, we have a smooth authorization. We can change between workspaces. Uh, can also create and use that notion table inside the RC. Can create entries. We can share and review uh, documents, or also we can comment on notion page. You can also create some insights in motion page or, or optionally in new motion page. It, it has been an amazing journey. Uh, we, we had a eight was at all of us to arrive, uh, and one of the hardest things to do was to bend in that motion page uh, inside RC. Thanks to that message parser uh, of the rocket chat. What we are trying doing is we are just converting that motion page markdown, uh, notion page into markdown, and at the Rocket chat uh, asks and handles everything. Yeah. And also, do not uh, this project involves authorization, which we implemented on our end. 
and it doesn't use the framework first there, there is some uh, there is uh, uh, the authorization uh, notion authorization is a little different from a uh, little different from in the workflow so what's next so let's say we have any project update uh, project status update or uh, the backlogs so they can uh, update entries insert uh, uh, notion table this is basically this is the feature we will be building next and now so currently we have we are converting that notion page to markdown uh, and uh, which is uh, which is not easy to maintain inside this app plus there are no npm modules uh, maintainable uh, maintain uh, the modules which is made maintain maintaining it so we will create on, on our own and with the, and merge match it bond it with our app so what about the notifications so uh notion doesn't have a web books uh public web books yet we have emailed it last month uh for the same but they replied they don't have that deadline for the same it is on their roadmap but if it's not there uh, uh it's not out yet uh, and more uh, we can help uh, we'll have uh, we maintain this app and help new developers to experience open source yep this is about uh, thank you and special thanks to the community uh, for the, uh, uh, this app has been grown uh, uh, better with, with, with the feedback from the community and this is my these are my socials yeah looking for some questions